In the previous mental world belonging to Ford Crawler, we examined how Lucretia Mux became unrecognizable after the Gerlofian War. This time around, we will look at who she was prior to this event, when she was still just Lucy, back when she first formed a relationship with Ford. Now that Rasputin has a membership card to the Bowling League, he finds the second of Ford's personalities and dives in. Strike City is a unique level due to the differences in gameplay. However, it represents a simple scene that I'm sure a lot of us have thought about. The first date with your special someone. Some events tend to be burned into our mind, allowing us to recall vivid details of the events years later. This is certainly true for Ford. Even little details like the cost of the food and the photos taken of the booth are remembered and shown here. Memories are a funny thing. Sometimes we can't remember what we had for breakfast, but other times we remember that one embarrassing event that happened 20 years ago. Based upon all research, this is due to the presence of strong emotions that are linked with the memories in question. The hippocampus is the part of the brain that is involved in forming and processing explicit memory. These involve facts, names, images, events, etc. The amygdala mediates aspects of implicit memory, these involve emotions, dispositions, skills, etc. The memory itself is consolidated by the hippocampus, while the emotions associated with the same memory are processed with the amygdala. Those memories that have no emotions associated with it are hard to recall, sometimes downright impossible. We tend to remember only that which is important to us. Ancient humans stepping on a snake will accidentally evoke the emotion of fear and links it to the memory of the act. This memory is strong and becomes a self-defense mechanism to avoid this action in the future. On the flip side, Ford Crawler's first date with Lucy was charged with joyful emotions, so the details are vibrant for him. However, his fondness for this first date at the bowling alley is only one aspect of Strike City. The other is the end of the world scenario. This level takes the form of a city of germs. Germs that he perceives at the bottom of bowling shoes. Out in the mother lobe, he is constantly spraying them down over and over, never satisfied that they will ever be clean. Crawler certainly is not a germaphobe, so what is this all about? It comes down to what he associates these germs with. Since the imagery here is symbolic, the law of associations applies. To get an idea, let's look back at the scenes throughout the level. After jumping on the first ball, Raz rides it down a series of twisting bowling lanes to navigate the world. Ramps, sticky sections, a construction zone, and a lover's lane tunnel are all scenes we come across. The interesting bits have less to do with the environment, but more to do with the NPCs. Most of the dialogue is centered around their belief that the world is coming to an end. The end is coming! Oh, give it a rest, guy! Death is coming from above! High above is the bowling pin Ford, waiting to open up an aerosol can of disinfectant upon the city to wipe out the population. But it is a mixture of the neon billboards and those wearing signs in the street that draws a better picture. If we take the time to stop rolling and read them all, we get some interesting details. True love never dies and love us forever are the emotions Ford is feeling when thinking back on this date at the bowling alley. His memory vault, entitled Ford and Lucy's First Date, details the events of this, concluding in their first kiss. However, because of the circumstances we discussed in Ford's follicles and will expand upon in Crawler's correspondence, this memory becomes linked through the law of association to tragedy. All good things must come to an end. No ball rolls forever. The end is coming. The end of the world scenario for the germs in Strike City is just a parallel to how Ford feels about his love for Lucy. That despite the beauty of his memory at the bowling alley, it was headed for disaster. Their love in a slow motion trek towards its inevitable end. Bowling pins waiting to be knocked over as the ball rolls closer and closer. One sad truth of the law of associations we discussed during Hollis's level is that it can link two seemingly conflicting emotions. The joy of Ford and Lucy's first date is linked to the horrible way it ended. He is unable to think of the good without the bad rising up. Conversely, he cannot think about the bad without linking back to the good. No matter what, it always keeps coming back, like a dirty shoe filled with germs. 
No matter how many times he disinfects them, they keep coming back. While he may want to run away from the emotions, it is impossible. This spiral of thought and emotions is all too common for those suffering from a bad breakup. It can create a defeatist mindset. Anytime we try to find someone new, our mind links back to the bad times, anticipating the end before anything even begins. This has a bad habit of causing us to avoid starting anything new, remaining in a safe place where we can never be hurt. But even in that state, a sense of emptiness can be felt. Like the Strike City construction zone, all the parts are there for building something new, but nothing ever gets finished. Strike City is a mental representation of this back and forth. The city of germs rises up, filled with memories of good times, only for a can of germ killer to end it all. Then the germs and the city begins anew. Around and around we go. The image of Ford Crawler standing behind the counter and constantly cleaning the shoes can be interpreted as his mind dwelling on how his relationship ended, something we can all empathize with. Bearing witness to this entire scenario, the germs are wiped out once more, and Raz finds himself inside the head. The second mirror shard is recovered and returned back to where it belongs. You and... you loved her? Her name is Lucretia, but I called her Lucy. And even from that first date in that grimy bowling alley, I knew. Knew that it was too good to last forever? Hey, all relationships end one way or another. Well, I just didn't think it would end so badly. Hey, cheer up. Even gutter balls return. Eventually. <sighs> Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, please drop a like and subscribe to receive updates on future uploads. If you would like to help support the channel, a Patreon has been set up and the link is in the description below. Have a great day and peace be with you all.